Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are staying in and staying safe. Um, I just wanted to basically do a video and show you guys how I pamper my skin and hair because we have all the time in the world to do it right now. So let's get started. These are the products I'm currently using for my skin in the morning to remove any sort of makeup residue and also cleanse my skin. I've also started having coconut water in the morning. I had about 4 to 5 coconuts stored in my house so I didn't need to get out to get it. I also apply a little bit of coconut water on my skin because I have heard it moisturizes the skin really well. It's a great toner and it also reduces signs of aging so I'm trying this out. I'm going to keep you posted with the results. And then I make a wholesome breakfast for myself. This is the easiest thing to make right now and it's so yummy and so filling. I've also started to feel that my hair is thinning out a little bit and losing its density and I came across this product online and I wanted to try the red onion range so I'm going to be trying the red onion hair oil first. I'm applying this first thing in the morning so that I get at least 2 hours of the oil in my hair. So what I do is I keep parting my hair and apply this directly on the scalp. If you want you can heat this slightly in the microwave. Red onion oil minimizes breakage and thinning due to its rich sulfur content. Um, that is why I wanted to try this oil out because it also promotes hair growth and increases hair strength and volume. So after the application is done, I massage this for about 5-10 to 10 minutes and then leave this in my hair for about 2 hours. And then I finish all of my work emails, making important calls and I also make a to-do list in the morning, basically things that I need to finish through the day. Since I was trying the red onion oil, I thought why not just try the shampoo and conditioner. So this is the shampoo that I use to uh, shampoo my hair after the oil is applied. While I was reading the ingredients, I got to know the shampoo also includes biotin, collagen, onion oil, wheat protein and silk protein which actually helps in strengthening the hair with renewed bounce and length and that is what I actually felt after I have used the shampoo and conditioner a couple of times. The conditioner is packed with natural conditioning ingredients which intensely moisturizes the hair and smoothens out any sort of frizziness. Make sure that you have removed all the extra water from your hair and apply the conditioner on your mid lens to ends and leave it in at least for 5 minutes. And then I follow it up by applying a hair serum on my mid lens to ends. I choose to apply it when my hair is slightly damp. You can apply it on damp hair and as well as dry hair. And then I finish off with all of my work through the day. Some days I'm shooting, some days I'm editing and some days I am just making scripts, replying to mails. Another thing that I've started using for the last one, one and a half months, this is the Hair With Hair Vitamin Capsule. Uh, this actually contains biotin which is really good for your hair. So I take one capsule a day and I'm supposed to do this for at least three months. And on days when I have extra time, I use the Oriental Botanics Red Onion Hair Mask. I try doing this at least twice a week or a minimum of once a week. It's always good to use something that is more deeply moisturizing and nourishing for your hair. Now this has 26 natural oils that deeply condition the tresses, smoothens out frizz, adds shine and makes the hair velvety soft and manageable. So I just apply this on my mid lens to ends, keep it on for about 2-3 to three hours and then I just rinse it off. Make sure that you apply it properly section by section. Then gently just comb it out making sure that the product has coated the cuticle of each hair really well. And then I take my microfiber cap and I wet it slightly and then put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds for it to heat. And then I wrap this around my hair for about 10 minutes. The heat from the microfiber towel is going to activate the ingredients in the mask. It will help the ingredients to work a lot better and also for the mask to penetrate into your cuticles and nourish it even more. Try using a dry shampoo in between your washes and try not shampooing your hair more than 3-4 to four times a week. Proteins are a building block for our hair so please try and include as much as protein. You can look it up online in case you're a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian and try to include all of these foods into your diet. So I hope you guys like this video. This is how I take care of my skin and hair when I have extra time on my hands. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one really soon. Bye!